Okay. Law of Inertia, Part 2. So in Part 1, we uh, saw that uh, Newton's Law of Inertia, which is also known as Newton's uh, First Law of Motion, says that an object moves with constant uniform motion until acted on by an unbalanced force. So if all the forces are balanced, like in this example of a bowling ball uh, rolling on the floor, uh, the weight of the bowling ball, that downward force of gravity being balanced by the upward support of the floor. So in this case, there's uh, no unbalanced force, and so we have constant uniform motion. The speed of the bowling ball is constant. It moves in a straight line. This is a bit of an approximation because there's going to be a little bit of friction that's going to slow the motion, but uh, pretty much Newton's uh, law of inertia uh, applies here. Now, uh, Newton's law of inertia also says that an object at rest, and by at rest we mean it's uh, not moving, not that it's relaxed or taking vacation, but an object that's not moving uh, remains at rest until acted on by an unbalanced force. So, uh, talking about the bowling ball again, if the bowling if the bowling ball is just sitting there on the floor stationary, then it will remain stationary until uh, some unbalanced force comes along, like someone kicks it or something. Now, uh, if you think about it, this is really just a special case of what we saw in part one, because uh, this is just uniform motion when the speed happens to be zero. Uh, but it's uh, important enough that it's worth pointing out as a um, uh, special case that uh, occurs very often. Now, the classic example of uh, the law of inertia for uh, an object at rest remaining at rest is the tablecloth pull. So, in this case, uh, we have a vase of flowers, and if we have a tablecloth that is pulled out from underneath the vase uh, quickly, then uh, there's only a very small force that is acting, and then the inertia of the vase uh, keeps it in place. Let's look at a quick video of that. Ta-da! Uh, here's another uh, similar example, only instead of a vase we have uh, shopping carts and instead of a tablecloth we have a truck that the shopping carts are sitting on top of. So uh, these shopping carts have been loaded in the back of this truck and now the truck uh, leaves the store and because of the inertia of the shopping carts, uh, they uh, stay in place. In particular, the row on the right-hand side, you see that uh, the shopping carts stay in their original uh, position uh, as the truck moves out from under them. Now, uh, a more simple, uh, common example of this would be uh, if you're riding on the bus, and let's say that the bus is uh, sitting at a stoplight, so it's not moving, but then it suddenly starts moving uh, quickly, so it, it accelerates, well, uh, you will remain uh, stationary at rest until there's a force acting on you. So in this case, uh, it seems as if you are thrown backwards as the bus moves out from underneath you. Now, you have to realize that uh, it only seems as if you are thrown backwards because if you are uh, an observer moving with the bus, so let's say someone uh, sitting uh, in the bus uh, watching you standing in the aisle, so that person uh, will be moving forward with the bus, and so from their point of view it seems as if you're moving backwards because they're uh, moving forwards. On the other hand, if we uh, look at this picture on the right, uh, if 
there's someone standing outside the bus, say on the street, and they're looking in the window, and they uh, see you falling, they actually see you falling in place uh, as the bus moves out from, from under you. Let's do a little experiment of that. So if we uh, go frame by frame, uh, starting with the initial position of the doll, we see that the doll actually uh, stays in the same spot, at least the center of the doll stays in the same spot, it, it rotates around that spot, uh, as the car uh, moves out from, from underneath. So um, in this case, of course, it falls out the back of the car, uh, but is uh, actually uh, from the point of view of the camera, uh, remaining stationary. So, in uh, summary, uh, the law of inertia uh, states that an object at rest, which means not moving, uh, remains at rest until acted on by an unbalanced force. Uh, the classic example of this is pulling a tablecloth out from under a vase. The uh, inertia of the vase uh, keeps it in place as long as uh, the force uh, on the vase when you pull the tablecloth out is small. So you want something which is fairly uh, slippery and uh, do it quickly so that the, there's very little time during which the force, the small force would be acting. And then uh, finally the last example uh, points out that when you have a situation where the camera is accelerating away from a stationary character, then it seems as if the character is being thrown backwards, just like we saw in that in that example with the bus. Uh, there is no force throwing the character backwards. The character is actually remaining in place, and the camera is accelerating away from the character. And so, from the uh, point of view of the moving camera, it seems as if it's being thrown backwards, but if we have a stationary camera, like someone standing outside the bus, then uh, the character uh, is uh, remaining in place from that uh, uh, point of view. Now, if uh, this reminds you a bit of uh, drag, as is used in animation, so when, uh, say, hair is, a uh, character is moving and the hair seems to drag behind or the uh, clothes drag behind. Uh, well, indeed, this is also uh, an example of inertia and it's important enough that uh, we'll cover it in a uh, separate uh, tutorial. So, I'll see you then.